<laughs> so you were born in British Columbia, little Kyle Greenwood. When did you decide that? When did you start watching wrestling, or you discovered that you had a interest uh, in it? Man, like I, like one of like my first memories are of wrestling. You know, like remember... this looks more like Ben Kingsley, by the way. <laughs> it does. Ben Steve Austin. Anyway, go ahead. Keep going. How uh, old are you? Oh, like. I think like some of my first memories were from wrestling, like just going to like the earliest the, the video store, and like I just remember like those tapes, there was eh? a, there, yeah, those tapes, those huge tapes, and there was this poster of Hogan ripping his shirt off, and I was like, holy shit! In Hogan, the video <laughs> store? Oh boy, I don't know why like a dude ripping his shirt off is my like number one image associated with wrestling, <laughs> but like I was like, holy shit, that's so cool! Like, I think it'd be better if it was your earliest memory <laughs> of anything. <laughs> that's when you came online. <laughs> 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 So, uh, yeah, I would go home and try and, like, mimic that by putting on, like, you know, plastic Safeway bags and just rip them open and shit, because I thought it, was, it looked like Hogan. And then um, I really got into rest, like, you know, it was always kind of, like, I wasn't always allowed to watch it and stuff at a younger age. And then uh, Steve Austin, the whole Attitude Area really exploded and became really popular in elementary school. Yeah. So I got super into it and then started, like, you know, trampoline wrestling with my buddies and just got, like... It was instantly like super hooked, and then were my your dad... parents getting annoyed that you were so into it? No, like... I don't think so. I think they kind of encouraged. Like my dad took me to my first uh, show, which was WWF Rock Bottom in Your House '98. Ninety nine. That was ninety eight. Ninety eight. December of ninety eight. Rock Bottom, The Rock yeah. versus Mankind. Yeah. There's a great. Right. There's a the, great. It was vignette. after the Survivor Series when he turned heel. Yeah. There's a great vignette in that because I remember like. Years and years later, I found the videotape at Rogers. I was like, oh my god, I was at this show. And like, I was watching it. There's like this vignette where like Vince is going to like, he's trying to like talk to uh, mankind about like signing a contract or something. Yeah, and, I think I remember that. Yeah, he, he walks out of the boiler room like smiling. Like, he just got him to like sign the contract. And he turns the corner down the hall. And at the end of the hall, you see the rock and mankind talking about their yes, match. Yes! I heard. Like... Yeah! <laughs> I remember that because. I think it was maybe on Botchamania once, too. Oh, really? I do remember that. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. amazing. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, and that was whole, your first live show. Yeah, and the whole, like, everything about it. Like, you, I'm sure you can remember your first live WWF show. Yeah, man. It was, I remember the date. January 12, 1996. The main event. I think I may have talked about this on Kevin Steen's show before. Main event was... Bret Hart versus Kevin, well, Diesel in a cage, but they didn't go on last, which blew my mind. They did, they went on before intermission, yeah. but I was a little kid. I was 12. I was like, why are they going on last? This is bullshit. This is for the WWF championship. They ended up doing a fucking finish where they both, like, one went out the door and Bret... And then the actual main event, well, like, actual last match was Undertaker versus Yokozuna, and it ended with a flying clothesline. <laughs> that was the finish. The only time Yokozuna nice. left his feet. I remember being upset because uh, it was supposed to be Razor Ramon and 123 Kid against Jeff Jarrett and Goldust. And they switched it to something else. And I was really upset because the hot feud was Razor Ramon versus Goldust. And I really wanted to see them go at it. Yeah. But instead, Goldust wrestled fucking Henry Godwin or some crap. Ugh. When I was a kid, I didn't understand the card subject to change and all that shit. Sure. I was really upset. I was just head, dressed head to toe in uh, HBK gear. Yeah. Had the hat, the heart shaped glasses. Oh my God. The gloves, <laughs> and the t shirt. There you go. My parents bought me all that shit. That's good parenting, though, you know? Is it? I think so. <laughs> I look like a small stripper. <laughs> Maybe Shawn Michaels wasn't the best route to take for... Johnny Gargano once uh, put that on Twitter at uh, Halloween that just passed. He wrote, uh, and when I was nine years old, I went as Shawn Michaels for Halloween. I had chat, like he re described his costume. He said, to, to people that watch wrestling, I was Shawn Michaels. To most people, <laughs> I was a nine-year-old stripper. <laughs> so anyway, you saw that show. Uh, classic. And you were hooked? Yeah, you know, I guess we can remember every little sort of detail. You can remember, like, I remember the smell of walking in and, like, looking at the ring for the first time. Like, holy shit, getting that, like, DX t-shirt. Fuck, I'm getting... The stone cold finger. I was just like, holy fuck, this is nuts. I'm getting goosebumps. When you said walking and seeing the ring, I remember when Oh, that when happened. you first walk up the steps and you that just, like... Crazy. Look, just, just like, whoa. Like, it was that instant. I was like, I need to be there. Like, I need to be in that ring. Yeah. Like, I had that thought, man. It's crazy.